All right, so so far you've watched a video on uh, how to use the voltmeter for volts, ohms. You've also watched a video on how to do the series and with the series circuit uh, to get your amps. So now I'm doing one on how to get the amps on a parallel. So I've built a parallel circuit right here. And uh, I'm going to show you how to get the amps like here on number seven. Now I'm going to work this and more than likely my numbers are going to be different than yours because my battery volt is going to be a little bit different than yours. So if you end up getting the same numbers on your worksheet, I'm going to know that uh, you didn't do it yourself. You just copied here. So make sure that you set this up and that you do it yourself. All right. So I'm going to first, I've got this set up. And whenever I build it, I really like to try to make it look like the picture so that in my mind I can really understand what I'm doing. Uh, if I push the button here, notice that my light bulbs do light up. Okay, so now let's go through and figure out how would I measure my amps for each one. So it says current through diode 1. So I want it to only go through diode 1. So... Right here is my diode one, and I want it to go from my jumper to my diode so that that way I'm only measuring that path. So I'm going to take my diode out and put it into a different line. So it's not part of this circuit. So see, only that second one's lighting up. So this isn't part of our circuit. All right, so now my red one is hooked to my red lead, and I am going to put it in first. And then my yellow one is hooked to my black lead, so I am going to put it in second. So now it's completing the circuit through the uh, multimeter. So I look at this and I hit the button, okay, and I get 10.3. I'm going to hit that hold button because uh, I want to be able to release everything and then get my pencil and write that down. All right, so that is through diode one. So now I'm going to take this out, and I could have even done it going the opposite way after it because it's still in that same uh, parallel, that same, I guess, path. All right, so I'm going to hit that again. So again, my red one needs to be first, which is the one that goes here because that's where my path kind of stops. And then this one's the black one is going to go in to the next spot. All right, and I'm going to hit my button, and 10.3, pretty close. All right, so as you can tell, I could have done either direction. It doesn't really matter. All right, so I'm going to pull those out, make my series or my parallel circuit work again. Okay, see, both of them are working. Good. So now I'm going to do diode 2. So here is current through diode 2. Again, I'll just do the same thing. Pick either side, it doesn't matter. Red one going in, black one going to the next one. Push my button, and it's 9.1. Okay, notice those are a little bit different, and that is going to happen. It should be the same, but uh, when our volts are a little bit uh, different on each one, it's constantly trying to equal them out. Uh, you're going to have a little bit of a difference on your uh, amps as well. So that's all right. Uh, it's fine if they come out a little bit different. All right. So I'm going to pull these out, finish my circuit again. Now it's very important that whenever it says current delivery by the power supply, it's the same question that they had asked before when it said from the power supply. You never want to put these uh, in the opposite sides because that's going to put a parallel from the battery straight through without a resistor. That is going to bust my uh, fuse in here. I'm just going to pop that fuse and we'll have to change the fuse and I'm going through them pretty quick. So we want to prevent that at all costs. So if we were to go from here to here, we would have this parallel through uh, the multimeter and we don't want that so instead we want to go from the power supply so I'm going to take out that jumper and go in with my red right and now we're on the series here with 
the resistor, and, and that's very important. So I push the button, and notice it's 20.6. Okay, so pull those out before uh, I actually go through this way. And again, we have the switch on here, so I probably wouldn't have a, well, not probably, I wouldn't have a problem because my switch isn't pushed, but I still like to be safe. And, you know, any chance I can try to protect that fuse. All right, so hopefully this helped, and uh, happy breadboarding.